I don't need my All right, face. So Go check out the Horror, Philosophy, and Culture podcast, Scary Thoughts. Co-hosts Mark Kate and Chad Lott cover classic and auteur horror, fil- horror films, going deep while keeping the conversation light. To listen, go over to iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, or wherever you receive your dark sermons from the cursed minds of the damned. Of oh, the damned. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. We finally reached it. It's the last episode of the year. Let's close it out. 2017, bye bye. I still can't Comic believe how awesome gaming? the last yet I was. <laughs> I know. That's so awesome. Telling you, Mark Hamill is a genius. I know. Uh, Comically Gaming number 85. We're gonna close it out with our best of list of the year, part two. Television and video games. We're gonna count down top ten. So let's jump in. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, everybody, welcome to Comically Gaming, episode 85, the final Woo! Comically Gaming of 2018, or, or the first of 2018, the final of 2017. I think this is going to come out in 18, so first one of the year. We're going to do it. our top 10 list of video games for the year. We do things Ooh. a little bit different, so we are not required to talk about a game that came out in 2017, right? Everybody, you've read all those the lists, impossible. you've seen all those lists uh, in... Uh, we're, we think it would be boring to just reiterate those. So oh, we're yeah. talking about the games that we've played. We don't have to beat them. There's no rules. Just how, however you want to rank them, you rank them. And uh, we assign a point system to it and then put the math all together, see what comes out first. So it's a big yeah. show, video games here. Um, I'll kick it off with number 10. Nice. I've got for number 10, best video game of 2017, Pokemon Moon. Nice. <laughs> okay. yes. oh, shit. So this was my first Pokemon game that I've ever actually played through. Every time Pokemon's come out since I've had children and had DSs sitting around my house or, or Game Boys of any sort, I've tried to play them all. I've gotten three hours in and said fuck this and set it down. Uh, Pokemon <laughs> Moon, I find I pressure I pressed through, I made it to the end. Um I I get why people like it. It's not from. I will not play another one. I gotta say, it would take a lot to pull me in, but but I'm glad I did. I forgot yeah. about Pokemon. It yeah. didn't make my list. Audible. I still don't think I would put it on my list. Yeah, but, really. Uh, <laughs> I love Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. I got a no. ton of video games I played this year. So, <laughs> it's, uh, but gotcha. Well, so it's a good your, game. What's your number ten? Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, that's, a, that's a troll yeah. hit. <laughs> it's not a troll hit. It's my 10th <laughs> most enjoyed video game of 2017. Um, wow. Good game. Um, good had a lot of fun game. playing it. Um, just not, you know, just not, the story didn't keep me too hooked. The, you know, it's, I like gear in my games. All the gear breaks. So I got I got no need for the gear. The fighting was good, but pretty basic. Um, the the boss battles were all really easy, um, but but it was a great open world game. That's cool. I haven't played like a Zelda a newer style game, and and it was fun. I did enjoy riding the horse around, and and uh, it I mean it was better than a lot of games I played this year. Good. I really liked it. <laughs> yeah. like it crazy, dude. Um, Doesn't it have I, to do with the charm of it, though? I, really like, I love exploring the world. But I don't know. I mean, yes, it's... it does have to do with the zelda you, you don't play Zelda for story. That'd be for like guts, playing, right? Yeah, I've never played it like for playing guts. a Mario game for story. That's not what it's about. It's about an adventure. Right. It's about putting yourself in that adventure <laughs> shoes and going out into the world. And it totally did it yeah. unlike any game ever has. I don't know about that. Uh. <laughs> it was a big open world that you could, you could 
do the story in any order you wanted, but there still was things that you had to do to get to the bus. Like, I mean, I, was... I just felt like when I was walking across the countryside and I'd go through some woods and then there'd be a fucking gigantic monster that I'd never seen before of any type. Like, to me, it was Witcher level for that. Uh, that didn't really thing. happen that much. All the monsters oh. were pretty similar going through the whole game. Maybe you <laughs> haven't beat it yet, but they're yeah, all kind of same. <laughs> a lot of the enemies are very similar in it. Um, <clears throat> it's well, either like you, it's either lizards through. or goblin guys or like big stone guy or um, there's not much enemy variation. You're wrong about that. <laughs> no, you're wrong. You're wrong. You just didn't explore enough. You didn't have. You weren't just uh, going out there. You're I beat the game. You haven't even them. beat it yet. Like, yeah. I explored plenty. And I, I got to see I, what, what tops yeah, it. Yeah. It's, and I'm not not saying it's a bad game. I really... It's a just, troll I, hit. Because I'll be able to know what you games. top it with. It's a troll I, hit. Watch. I'll tell you some games <laughs> that didn't make my list. Final Fantasy 15, Ghost Recon mm -hmm. Wildlands, uh, Mario Kart 8, Golf Story, Titanfall 2, it's deep. Ooh, Gran Turismo man. Sport. Those are all great games, and I liked Zelda better than those. I really, I really liked it, but it's number number ten. I don't I, think it was. I think cool. it's I knew this also, list was going to be dramatic. More than, also, the most more overrated the game of 2017, in my opinion. But still, I really liked it. It was a good game. I had fun with it. I just don't think it's like the best thing of all time. Yeah. <laughs> you crazy? Dirt. All right. Uh, I had. I mean, I don't have a whole. I don't game. Quite as much as I it's guess fine. you three guys do, but um, I put Cuphead at number ten. Cuphead, mm. nice. Yeah, so. I wish I could play it. Get on your PC. My PC cannot play Cuphead. Really? I guarantee you that. Yeah. Surprise! I can. <laughs> yeah. uh, what do I have here? But. Dirk. Dirk. Jeff. Jeff. I have Resident Evil Seven. Oh, nice. nice. Oh. How far, how, far, how far into it have you played? Uh, I played to just like hours wise. I, yeah, I'm sure uh, you're than me. Probably ten hours. Okay. Yeah. Ten. Uh, you should have beat it then. No. That's cool. I want to play it more. I suck. I, I, I did, suck at it. I got stuck oh. in a spot like at the beginning, <laughs> and it made me mad. I was like, I, oh, if I have yeah. to look this up to get past this, and I'm mad about it. I, I need to get over that and just look it up and I get, play him. That's it. I wonder what, what part are you... I guess it, we can't like, say any spoilers. Same thing happened to me. I thought it was really cool. I got stuck at a spot and I was like, okay. Yeah. I'm done with it. Right. But okay. it was really cool. It's, uh, Agreed. All right, Corey, number nine. Number nine, Destiny 2. Destiny wow. 2. Destiny 2. I, I love Destiny. Destiny 2 was... Um, Fun playing with the crew again. It, it felt good picking it back up, but it just fell off quick for me. I think I um, I had a lot of gripes about Destiny 2 compared to Destiny wow. 1. That the end game wasn't what I wanted it to be. Um, it's uh, it just uh, and I was just kind of wore out on Destiny. I think, um, but uh, but uh, you know, Destiny 1 probably was number one the year it came out for me. But uh, with Destiny, Destiny 2, it I just—it was good. It was more it's Destiny, good. and I love Destiny. More Destiny. But, yep. uh, Agreed. So. Uh, Dirk, what do you got? Number nine. I have uh, Hotline Miami at number nine. Oh, what a great mm -hmm. game! That's one of that game is so good. It's good. just so playable. It's something you like. You get home, it doesn't take long to load. I mean, <laughs> it's yeah. like yeah. you do have to like kind of get into it a little bit and play a few rounds and die a few times. Yeah. But once you get to like once you start rolling in it, it's yeah. so fun to just be automatic and like throw weapons and the style of it, I love it. Yeah, I, I love too how the, there's you gotta get in the flow. And when you get in the yes. flow you can just boom the boom flow. boom boom and right. then like uh, I found also like a lot of times you'll get to the end of the level, kill whoever you're trying to kill and then you gotta get out. And like that's yes. kind of like a break in the flow, and then you got to do it again. You know, it's uh, yeah, yeah, really, and the, really great. And just one like of the best soundtracks. Yeah, yeah soundtrack spectacular. I, I agree there. One and, of the uh, best. Yeah, yep. and uh, and just the uh, the weird masks and stuff. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, so it's, disturbing. Yeah, yeah, great. <laughs> I'm with you, Jeff. 
Number nine. Number nine, Destiny 2. Destiny 2. Oh. Nice. Yes, Daddy. Agreed. Right. Agreed. All right, Agreed. I got uh, my my number nine is uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Put that right. in there. Uh, nev- did not beat it. Um, to be honest, like I don't know if I'll go back to it. But uh, you know the 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 mechanics of taking down those dinosaurs was fun for the twenty hours or whatnot that I played. You didn't it. even yeah. really get into the main world, did you? <clears throat> I'm still in the first map. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a good so, story? Do you have any really... good story there? It's all right. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. all right. <laughs> <laughs> people people put it on a pedestal. Like everybody acts like it's it's in the running for game of the year and and all the different places to talk about video games i don't i, I, I don't it. see that but but it but it is a good game right and, and definitely yeah uh, cool from uh gorilla games making a uh, kill zone for a million years to finally get to make something that's not kill zone i think they i think they hit a home run with it yeah yeah, yeah. all right yeah number eight dirk is it me again yep. yeah oh okay mm-hmm. um fallout 4 oh, oh nice. wow yeah wow. <laughs> just i mean i don't think it's the greatest game but um I, I with as much time as i put into it i would sincerely fucking hope i have it on my top 10 <laughs> because yeah. you know i mean i like that I, I, I beat it, it. yeah i beat it i beat it i made it a point to like i'm, I'm gonna fucking beat this game <laughs> uh and i know that it's, it's like side quest heavy and everything but yeah. you know it, it's, it's another Bethesda game, you know. They're getting right. kind of old at this point, but yeah, but they a are. Good game. I mean, they're still no, good it is. games. It's a good game, and it, it's yeah. not for me. The best Bethesda game for me personally was Fallout Three, and yes. everything else has been like a continuation of that to a point. But uh, you like Fallout Three more than Skyrim? Oh well, no. Okay. Take that <laughs> Just curious. All right. No, I still think about Skyrim. Me too. Like I have yeah, the urge to too. play it all the time. Yeah, I'm with you. All right, Jeff. Uh, I have Final Fantasy 15. All right. Woohoo! Because I love the Chocobo ride. <laughs> it was a great I, game. Yeah. Yeah. I I it didn't make my list because I didn't get to put enough hours into it this year. Mm. But yeah, I, I get, wish I wish I did. I. If I had enough free time, I absolutely would be playing it. Um, I've got my number eight. That's where I got Destiny too. We've already talked okay. about it. All the same reasons. Yeah. It's a good game. It's more Destiny though. I've been playing hundreds of hours of Destiny for four years now, so it's not. It didn't. It didn't <laughs> blow me away. That's for sure. Right, yeah. Corey. Uh, number eight, uh, Walking Dead: New Frontier. Wow, really? Mm, wow. Walking Dead: New Frontier is better than Breath of the Wild. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, I enjoyed it. I told you. I told you. <laughs> I think I've it's kind of this funny. List Twenty times since I made it, and I'm like, nope, stand by it. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's you know. I, a continuation of uh, Clem's story, who I'm really attached to at this point. Um, and some heavy shit happens, and uh, it's just uh, I I got I got a lot more feels from The Walking Dead than than Zelda um, or or Destiny. Um, and uh, it's, it's, I just those story that that's like uh, it's hard to I don't know if I like Borderlands was such a great single Telltale game. But just that that uh, that Walking Dead series is is really great, and I love the Walking Dead in general, and I love Clem, and this was her next uh, part of the story, and it was just as great as the rest. Yeah. So, have know. you guys, Jeff Dirk, have you played Walking Dead season one? No. I played a little bit of season one. You got to do it. It's yeah. It's one of the no. It seemed like I would all the time. You got it. Yeah, I liked it. What I played of it. You can pick that thing up for like three dollars nowadays. It's on the iPad or whatever else. It's on my cable box right (laughs) now. Oh, iPad. Wow. Yeah. All right. But uh. But yeah, I I I wish, I'm I'm just kind of sick of Telltale at this point. I can't even the good ones. I can't motivate myself to play them over the rest of the stuff that I have on my list right now. But I'm yeah. I, I I wish I did. I want I want to see that story, but. I'm just over. On the opposite though. end of this spectrum, Guardians of the Galaxy is the other one I played this year. It's awful. Yeah. So it's yeah. I'm not, it's not because I like that type of game. It's that right. story, story I like. And, uh, and it was I'm good. with you, but it, 
Yeah. It's not better than Zelda. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> kick us off with number... Uh, uh, I put Call of Duty World War Two. Oh, okay. Nice. It's funny that you're the only one of us that's got COD. Yeah. I, I, I want to get it, man. I just don't have, you know, room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My, uh, so my number, what are we at, seven? Yeah. Seven. Is yeah. Uh, Until Dawn. Oh, this wow. year. okay. Yeah, played that one. Great, great game. You know, <sighs> a, again, a couple cheesy moments, but once you're done playing a game that's about teenagers doing a cabin in the woods thing, it doesn't matter if there's cheesy points or not. It's it's so oh, much yeah. fun right. watching them right. watching them all die. We got to do we got to do the spoiler cast to talk about what our stuff did different at some point because uh, that game that game was great. That game's like the evolution games of that I Telltale. played that I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right, what do you got, Corey? Number seven, Horizon. Horizon, <clears throat> that's where that goes. Huh? Yeah. I uh, I really liked it, Horizon. The more I think about it, um, you know, it was uh, I don't know. At, at the time, I was see I dropped it for Persona, which was the problem. When I look back at all the games I played this year, it was a really great game, um, and the, the story was good. And I I liked Aloy, and uh, just finding the dinosaurs was was really cool, and um, just uh, it's really really good game. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Dirk. Um, I had Uncharted. Uncharted. Oh, yeah. Which one? Yeah, Four? the first one. The first oh. one, huh? Oh wow! The first one. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't feel bad about my list at all now. I, I don't the, have a whole lot, you know. So I played pick. that last year. You know what I mean? You don't have to feel ashamed. The, yeah. The, it is funny. I, I do feel like I played one, two, and three recently, and the one is. You know, the, the jumping mechanics are not right. on point yet at that point. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. I feel like some of the exploring part is a, a bit of a struggle. Yeah, one but, was kind of rough for me. Yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah. One was short, too. Thank yeah, God. well, thank goodness, right? And, and I feel like, uh, but it, it established the charm Drake. of Nathan Drake, right? Yeah. Like, right. Yeah. And I've played a little bit of two when it first came out. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I'm just going back to try to go through all of it so I don't have any interruption of story. Right. Yeah, so, it's almost like I'm anticipating it be, being really good because sure. I know yeah, I've, I've talked to y'all and stuff. So, yeah. I got four is my next, the next game I'm going to play at this point. Ah, I yeah. Four is fun. So I like four. We'll get to it. All right. So, we're at what? Number six? Uh, yeah. I've got. Uh, Number six here, I've got Ghost Recon Wildlands. We played that probably eight months this year on our yeah. weekly co-op night, and uh, and it was great. It was really good all the way through. Was. It, it was uh, fun was. at the beginning. It was the story was surprisingly good, uh, yeah. even though yeah. the the acting and whatnot was not great. Yeah. I was still shit balls. <laughs> it's still just a, a cool experience to have with my friends. You know what I mean? It's like That's when we talked about yeah. the, the Destiny expansion, that was the same thing. Okay, the, the story's not good, but I enjoy going through these levels with my friends. Wildlands was, was just a, just as good. Yeah, for sure. Sweet. Right. Corey? Number six, uh, Super Mario Odyssey. <clears throat> Lame. <laughs> um, above Zelda for fuck's sake probably, uh, probably the first um, 3D like not side scrolling Mario that I've really beat I, you know, I've played some Mario 64 but I never had it on 64 I had a PlayStation um, so, but uh, just uh, really really fun game I just uh, t you know um had a good time playing it the whole time. It was short, but uh, it was sweet playing, uh, taking over all the different types of Mario monsters with your hat, playing as them, um, playing through all the levels. It was it was just a, a fun game, and you know, controlled perfectly. Um, it was just uh, a good time. Yeah, I, I played a lot of Mario over the last ten years, and you know, re regardless of what the 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 gimmick is for that particular game. And the fact that every single story is Bowser stealing Peach and you going to get her, the uh, 
it's you know that it's going to be platforming perfection yeah. when you pick it up and play it, right? Like it's sure. better than any other game that comes out. You know, I, I really enjoyed Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet I and always Clank have does fun not with feel them. Like Mario, right? Right, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. Dirk. Number six. Number six, I have Final Fantasy 15, oh, nice. which cool. I've got a whole, uh, you know, I still have a huge chunk to go through. But I, yeah, I mean, it, it's very, it's very rare that early on you catch feels from a yeah. game, <laughs> and it was like right off the bat, I was like, oh man, it's kind of getting to me a little bit. Yeah, it's, and it was different, right? It's unique. Oh unique yeah, in absolutely. Final fantasies and whatnot. So yeah, yep, I'm down. Uh, Jeff. I put Battlefront 2 because of Star Wars. <laughs> because so. Uh, that's a good reason. Yeah. <laughs> and, and with all the hype of Last Jedi that we've had to deal with, and the movie was awesome, it's just, yeah. Right, that's cool. I'm glad that you don't let the the media, the games media machine hatred right. spoil yeah. your, your views either because, yeah, it is. It, it got a little crazy this year with yeah, that game. That's for sure. They're just yeah. kicking people when they're down, sort of thing, you know. It's yeah. like, well, then that like, whole the whole talk of the lawsuit they want to bring against it because they consider loot boxes might be gambling, right? Because yeah. technically, it's bullshit. But yeah, it's the same thing as trading cards always have been, right? And yep. so if that's not yeah, gambling, then, that's then these aren't. No. All right, Corey, number five. Number five, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, wow, you only put that as number five, and you've been yeah. talking about it forever. Oh, well, he did well there. He did and he had well. Zelda. <laughs> it like yeah, right he made it a point to put Zelda there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, that is where Zelda goes. <laughs> um, I, I, I haven't beat it yet. I, I think I'm almost halfway through, but I... I want to play it every night. I can't put it down. I I've, I have a lot of shit that I have going on right now, and it's making me stay up way later than I should be um, yeah. playing it um, every night. It's I'm just having a great time with it. It's a, just a really good. I mean, the the story's good. The characters are good. Uh, um, it's everything about it. Is, the combat seems simple at first, but it's it's actually not and that and it's really good at the same time it's it's unlike any other kind of turn-based it's i guess it's not really turn-based um but just that like any other rpg combat i've ever played it's different it's the way you have to uh, time things and combine characters different skills together and uh I'm really, really into it. Really liking it. That's cool. Nice. I'll pick it up when, whenever I get a switch. I, I don't know if that will be a year from now or four, but yeah, I'll grab it on your glowing recommendation. <laughs> yeah, man, I know. All right, Dirk. Uh, Never Winter. Never Winter. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that game, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, if I had more time in the day, that's all I would be playing. <laughs> I would be. How old uh, is Neverwinter now? Four years old. Oh, yeah. is it? Okay, I thought yeah. it was. They have, yeah. if you get to level 70, they have Tomb of Annihilation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and nice. the Underdark. Nice. Yes. It's just, it's got all of the stuff. All about, the Forgotten all the, Realms. All the D&D lore that you read about, it's all in that game. Really? I guess yeah, that's that, what makes it so awesome. Yeah, I guess I should start playing it. <laughs> all right, Jeff. Uh, Watch Dogs 2. Wow, okay. That's wow. a, that's a dark horse. little curveball. Yeah, I, like I almost that. fought that. <laughs> I, I played through the first one. It was really good. And then the second one, it, it was funny because when I was playing it, it, I was playing it right before I went to San Francisco this year. Yeah. And so one of my coworkers was taking me into to San Francisco, and we're driving down this road, and I'm like, fuck, I have just been here before, and it was from the damn game. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> the, the kind of like a tech bro mentality was a turnoff to me. And oh, really? The marketing uh, and whatnot. That, that's why I didn't give it a chance, to be honest. Oh, no, that's really good. I, I, I Actually, I kind of like the tech hacker, nerdy kind of right. crew that he rolls with. Um, yeah. The only thing is I can't play with my son around. Just sure, because right. it's just random F-bombs, and I'm like, whoa, no. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Um, what did I have here? This is I had Uncharted three. 
in this. Nice. Uh, yeah, th this is the Uncharted that I beat this year. Um, and I, I kind of space them out. Some people, you know, should think I should just blow through them all. But, you know, I, I like to play Uncharted for me. Uncharted is the perfect length of game for me. That yeah. 12 ish hour 15 hours yeah yeah the 15 hour storyline like to me that'll take me two months or something like that if i'm not trying right. to like power through it and uh and it it you know is just fun you know what i mean just a fun game and, and definitely yes. the best of the three i think the uh, i hear a lot of people try and say that two is better i don't see that at all no uh, i think three is clearly the best of those three so so yeah, yeah. i can't wait to play four all right so, who went first that round, Corey? So we're at, we're at Dirk for number four. <coughs> number four, The Last of Us. Okay. Uh, wow, at level four? Because I haven't gotten to where you're at. Dude. You know? yeah, I'm basing this... it off of what I've played thus far. Okay. This is like the preacher talk that happens later in the show. You would change, <laughs> yeah, the opinion would change. Yes. You, uh... Yeah, I know. And I figured that. I, <laughs> uh, but up to this point, I mean, it's, you know, it's incredible. All right. Jeff? I have Shadow of War. Shadow of War. Ah. Yeah. Lord of the Rings, Shadow of War, yeah. 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 I played Mordor more than I didn't get to play War this year. Yeah, I beat yes. Mordor. It's Yeah, me, I beat like, Mordor. Yeah. I, I have a hard time playing sequels of anything, even of my favorite <laughs> games. You know what I mean? You like, say that. But <laughs> you play sequels. I play them, but I but Destiny yeah, too. Well, Destiny's a little Persona. Different. Yeah, and Persona, Persona is an outlier for sure. I, but I do play sequels, but I don't like even my greatest games. Like, as I as I go through all of them, you know, the back in the day in my PS One when I had or, or Tomb Raider Two was like the coolest game at the time. I didn't it get was, three yeah. when it came out because it's just that more. Sucked. I'd rather play a, a unique experience than go back and play a sequel. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, I've got uh, Hellblade. In this spot, right. Hellblade was great. More people should play it. It was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> boring. It was not boring. You, it was, just, you, you got Corey. Uh, really cool. Uh. Really cool environment. Really cool story. That it particularly, um, I don't know. As it went on, it got great. It, it really got great. What awards did it win? Uh, sound, and uh, the 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 lady who was the main actor in it she, uh, okay. she won i think actress of the year and the it, it's funny she's not a professional she's mm, just yeah. somebody that works at that video game developer <laughs> they like just they had her stand in for some stuff and she was good at it and kept going with it and yeah her performance is great one of the best <laughs> of all time yeah. All right. I might go back and play it at some point. You should. Right. Just put it on easy <laughs> and just blow through those fights. Yeah. All right. What do you got, Corey? Number four. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Oh, oh nice. 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 That's a good quality yeah. game. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, I really, really like it. Uh, great. That was a sequel. I, I loved uh, the, the Tomb Raider reboots this time yeah. around. Um, and uh, just as good as the first one. Um and obviously, kind of a basic story, but uh, um, just a great uh, third-party or third-person um, action adventure game. Um, and God, I love Laura Croft. She's been, you know, a crush of mine since I was <laughs> twelve years old. Just a pop of boobies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, and uh, just a really, really great game. I, I really enjoyed it. I cool. got it. I All get right. it. We're into the top three. Jeff, what do you got? For you, Corey, Breath of the Wild. There you go. <laughs> That's about, I'm maybe a little questionable about that, but that is, uh, <laughs> that, that's acceptable. Yeah. I wouldn't say top three. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we've talked, Bre we've talked Did Breath you, of the Wild. You haven't beat it, though, right, Jeff? No, I haven't beat it yet. I picked it up during, I bought it when it was released, day of release, and that was right during spring break, and as soon as spring break was over, um, I had to go back and do school things, but I got to, I don't know, I got through the first, the first, uh, um, whatever the fuck they're Divine called. Divine Beast? Yeah, I've been through the first yeah. one. 
Gotcha. You guys just need to. It's not as long as you think. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I can. I'm gonna get back to it. I absolutely. I'll get back. To it. It's in my rotation. The uh, <laughs> my number three is um, uh, Gran Turismo Sport. Oh. Here, the uh, I, I feel like I've always been a big fan of Gran Turismo games. Um, I don't buy every racing game that comes out, and I'm not good at them. But I do. I I like real cars. And so I think Gran Turismo is always kind of just their, their attention to detail with the real cars is what draws me in. And then I have fun playing them. Um, this one in particular, we play it weekly and still every single time we play, my headphones are full of laughter. Like no. that doesn't happen very often. No. To be honest, playing games, and that happens every single time with Gran Turismo Sport. So I, I think a lot of people wouldn't put it up there with these with the serious games that are out there. They tr- think of racing games like sports games, but I tell you, I, I have not had this much fun online in a long time. It is a lot of nice. fun. It is a lot of fun. Yep. All right, Corey, number three. Number three. Um, so this is actually five games. Um, the Uncharted Collection for and Lost Legacy. Come on, uh, you can't do that. Well, I mean, I I like <laughs> the whole thing as a whole, and I've played it all in a row. I mean, that makes sense. If you played it like, all in a row in this, like, year, if you want to say what's that. the best one, then Uncharted Four was the best one. But say, if I hadn't played one, two, and three, and didn't know Drake and his crew, then I wouldn't even put it on my list, so but it's I can't hard do the, for I can't, me. The, the computer won't be able to tabulate five games in one spot. you got to pick one and then say that right. you're represented. He's picking four. Just uh, well, four. then put it as four, right, but right. that's not really... <laughs> I wouldn't put four by itself in this position. It is a good story arc. Uh, sure. It's... The whole I played the whole thing all the way through. The reason I like four is because of one, two, and three. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's it's hard to it's hard to but that that whole experience, my whole uncharted experience was my third favorite video game experience of the year. Cool. Um, I get it. Yeah, it was a great time I and mean, the the best, you know, that type of Tomb Raider third person action game i've ever played oh it's great uh, um so yeah I'm, awesome. I'm glad that you put it above tomb raider because those are the two that like i want to play both of those they were both great when i tried them out and whatnot but i was like yeah when you started talking about tomb raider i'm like damn i should play that instead but i'm like no i gotta get through uncharted i'm i'm at the yeah. story i gotta move through it all right dirk what's your number three? yeah number three persona five persona five mm-hmm. huh yeah. What can you say about Persona Five? It's freaking. I love it, man. Huh? I I don't want to get too much into my process when I'm playing that game. Right. Um. <laughs> let's just say that it's a very late night game for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I try to play it like into the wee hours of the morning on a weekend. I don't know. It's a good game to like sort of like get lost in <laughs> you know yeah you play it for a long time yep agreed it we've said it in the past it makes the grindy fighting stuff awesome the the kind of yeah. flow that that the game yeah has. Um, you lose track of time yeah yeah, yeah. the the yeah. kids are great the uh it is weird i i mean I, I gotta mention it if we're talking about persona it's weird all the the sexual stuff that these high school kids are a part right. of, especially with adults and whatnot. And uh, that somebody, is weird. <laughs> yeah, somebody pointed out. Well, and I still haven't heard the a good explanation for why it's weird. Like, but, but yeah. anyways, I digress. The I, I heard somebody talk about this year. I guess part of the charm. <laughs> well, but somebody was somebody was pointing out. So like the first palace. Um, what's his name? Kurosawa. Kamoshida. Kamoshida. Yeah. Kamoshida. Kamoshida. Not Kurosawa. Kurosawa made Seven Samurai. Uh, Kamoshida, the, you know, he's not really any better than the kids because the kids act make weird sexual advances on the girls as well. Like Oh, you say the kids aren't as aren't any different than him. Yeah, it's, right, it's, right. It's, right. It sends some mixed messages with that stuff that is weird. Yeah. Right. Except but the, no, I mean he's worse than the kids. The thing is like okay, so i whatever I'm, uh, whatever like hang ups I might have with my American mindset, 
I just <clears throat> dismiss because I know that it's Japanese. <laughs> and they have weird... It's Go just, with it. Yeah, it's a very... Well, I mean, I can't fully immerse myself, obviously, in, like, hitting on high school girls, but... Right. Um, the thing is, like, I could suspend whatever because I know that it's sort of normalized there. I don't know. I don't... It, I can't the really get into it. The thing that's normal doesn't excuse it, though, right? <laughs> I, I mean, know, I know, yeah, I know. I take weird. that back. I don't know, but <laughs> I try not to think about it too much when I'm playing it. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just. I I, to be honest, like I do try to think about it. I don't care because the game's so good. You know what I mean? And, right. And I equate those kids like the Stranger Things kids. That's their. Their yeah. coolness is is part of why that's such a great game. So there's a ton of cosplay too of that game. I don't know yeah. if you've seen online. Yeah. But. Absolutely. All right, so we're down to number two. Um, yeah. This is where I put Breath of the Wild. Is in the two spot. The, one, right. one of the greatest games of all time. It's the walking through the countryside and the feeling of wonder involved in that is unparalleled in video games. I bet. All right. <laughs> I, this is I, that, that's sort of what I think about it. I, I just never really it, had a feel of wonder. I was, I was like, that graphics aren't that great. I had is a, it just a Zelda thing though? Like, no, because, it's not. no, it's not. It's a, it's wondrous. It filled, it filled my heart with happiness as I was walking because, around the world. <laughs> <laughs> I can say like, there's older Zeldas that I've played where I got that feeling from it. Me too. Like I could just like live in that world. Yeah. So, thing you know it's another one you, i can't wait till you get to try it out <laughs> sorry what's your number two so five. five huh? all right okay. yeah well, Jeff? i think i'm the only one who's beat it <sighs> yeah i have a That's, long time yeah, to go me too i got a real that time was time by far the longest game i played i spent months on that game it's, it's yeah. so <laughs> fucking long it's yeah. insane how long that game is like it's it's too long i will say like it's too long. Yeah, like, agreed. Like, agreed. Four 120 three. hours is too fucking long. Yeah. But but it's so great. I mean, I enjoyed it the whole time. But like, I, I'm like, it sucks because it's so good. But it's so long. You're like, I want this to. Be, I want to play a different game. But this <laughs> is so good. Like, yeah. it's, it traps yeah. you for that long. Yeah. It's, but yeah, number yeah. two. Gotcha, Dirk. Jeff. Oh yeah, I thought Jeff didn't have number two yet. No. Yeah. You. Oh, me. You're up, okay. Mike. All right. Controversy. So, <laughs> Hot Shots Out of Bounds. Hot Shots World Invitational. I was trying to toss up, but I'm going with Everybody's Golf at number really? two. Wow. <laughs> what? And that I involves, took that off the list. Listen, listen, that involves all the hate that I have for that game. <laughs> it, it's, it's that high because of, I guess, maybe I'm a sadist. I don't know. But I spend that I I play that game every single day. I mean, I, I have to put it that high, I sort just, of. Right? I, I hear you with that. I just feel like a, it's not a good it's, game. It's, it's not a good game. And B, it's there's too little content. You know, yeah. They're, oh they're, yeah, absolutely. The amount of courses yeah. is inexcusable. Oh, it's the game you I like. I mean, that's how I was with Rory or Tiger. I mean. I play Tiger every day in my heyday, and people wouldn't yeah. consider it one of the best games ever, but it was my favorite. You know, it's the game I like to play. <sighs> so. Yeah, I just, uh, I mean, it's a, it's also, I guess, a sharing thing because Vanessa and I play it, you know, constantly. Sharing is caring. Yeah. Sharing is caring, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if, if I had to pick between the three, I'd pick World Invitational as the best, but... right. But we had the league, you know, so that tipped it over for me. I, I didn't even have it on my list. <laughs> Jeff. I don't think anybody did. I uh, put it until dawn. Until dawn. Gotcha. Yep. Two. Nice. Two. That's going to boost it up in the rankings for sure. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, okay, so that's all our number two. So we're down to our number one games of 2017. Dirk. No, Jeff, you kick it off. Jeff. Yeah. Uh, I gotta go with The Last of Us. Last of Us, yeah. Right. I gotta go with The Last yeah. of Us. Good choice. Because I love Ellie so much. And <laughs> yep. She's so awesome. Yep. She is. I can't wait till you, awesome. you, you talk about the whole thing. 
It's, yeah, it's, Dirk. Truly, I love her too. I'm, I'm almost there. I'm so used to liking hot chicks in game, and she's like, it, I, yeah. I love Ellie in a whole different way. She's just her the best. attitude. Her <laughs> attitude. <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man, awesome. Yeah, yeah, we we let's talk about it when it's through. But yeah, it, it's my second favorite game of all time for sure. The the first one is probably what I think Dirk's number one is going to be. <laughs> but uh, that's that's my second. And and sometimes when, every time we talk about it, I could flip a coin and put it up higher because it's it's for different reasons, right? It's it's the greatest story, like straight story in video yeah. games by far, by a mile. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right, mine. Uh, my number one game of 2017 is Persona 5. I thought, uh, you know, even with my my uh, reservations that I just voiced, I, I still, <laughs> in 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 Corey's right, it's too long. Because it's too long, I'm cutting it up into pieces and playing other games in the middle of it. But man, yeah. every time I get back to it, I'm just like, this is the most fun. I yeah, have had. It's just That's like it. I said, yeah. the Zelda fills my I heart forget. with joy. Persona fills my heart with joy as well. I just, I, <laughs> I, I feel like a little kid again playing video games. I like it so much. You know what I mean? It's, it's uh, so it's quick great. too. Yeah. You can move through it so quickly. It's nice. Yeah, Corey. Number one, near Automata. Near. <clears throat> I was trying to think of what it was. Oh, dude. yeah, that's a I'm surprised. Yeah. Well, I guess you did talk about it a lot. I <laughs> love near. It's a great game. Um, I, I wasn't. I would. I didn't even know what when it came out. I hadn't even heard of it. Um, and then our our buddy that we played games with, Wojo, um, said it was awesome. And then it, I was waiting for it to go on sale, and it finally did. And I instantly fell in love. I just. I, I, I love it. It was uh, the story was so cool. I've never played a game like that. Where it's the three playthroughs and and how they build on each other and, and how it ends up. It's just, and and it did something like at the very end that like don't talk about totally it. out of left field that just blew my mind. Blew my mind. And I, I like I was I had like. <laughs> probably one of the biggest like internal struggles I've ever had in video games and like it was uh, just a really good time to be you know you get to look at her ass the whole game which is great um, the, the, <laughs> the fighting style is, it's just everything about it awesome game um, yeah. one of my favorites of all time <clears throat> I feel like I'm not having not beat the first playthrough yet I'm not there. Like, if that's what the whole game was, it's not on my list, right? But I'm, yeah. I'm trusting that you say that. And I've heard so many other people talk <laughs> highly of it that I'm going to keep powering through it as well to, to get there. That's but, awesome. Uh, yeah. cool. Dirk? You know it. Yeah. Witcher 3. Witcher 3. Um, I, oh, you know, I, with even as fucking long as this <laughs> game is, I'm still going to be horribly sad when it is. Yeah. I know yeah. that, like, when you can it, play it again. I played it like two. I, I played it three times through. I think. <sighs> like I don't want the story to end, though. You know. Yeah. Um, also, I can't pick a favorite character anymore. I've cycled through so many different ones, but um, right now, Siri is my favorite character. Yeah. yeah. Siri's her. great. They have her and Geralt have such a great relationship. Oh, too. fantastic! You know I mean? it's, it's, and every time that I get the opportunity. <clears throat> to do something crazy with her to like be mischievous, I do it. Right? <laughs> oh yeah. Every Good call. Time. It makes her happy. You know, yeah. you, you, so did you I. A smile on her face. So yeah, that's all it's about. <clears throat> Absolutely, I love it though. I just think it's a perfect game. Yeah, I'll just put it at that. It's my greatest game of all time. I I, I yeah. love yeah. the the sense of adventure, the 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 world that's built, and how it's kind of in the middle. Of the story, like they do a great job, like yes, when, when referencing you, things, yeah, yeah, and like when you go through a battlefield where where you can tell there was a war like a week ago, and yeah, and you don't even really see where the army went from that, but it, it puts you like in the middle of the story the way that no other games do. Um, we said it a bunch of times. Greatest side quests in video games oh, ever. Absolutely, they, oh, yeah. absolutely. They all That's why I'm cool taking stories. so long. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I can't get through it because I keep yeah. do helping people out yeah. that I meet. Yeah. I'm like, it's hard to even stop. call them side quests. Just 
quests. They're just like, more of Geralt's life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? that's, that's, that's I think I'm at 30, <clears throat> thir- level 32 right now. Yeah, and then and then on top of that, the main story is fucking great too. Like, oh, like one of the best. Said. Yeah, the 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 stuff that goes on is mind blowing at points. And uh, yeah, and l- like you say, Jeff, it. At the end, I wasn't sad because somebody died. I was sad because my time with them was it was uh, done. Yeah, I would absolutely. say like the main story itself is kind of a basic story, but it's the stuff that happens within the main story that's so okay. awesome. Like the the parts of the main story. It's just so like, unique. The, yeah, their their yeah. relationships and everything yeah. are it's, the greatest. Yeah. All right. That's it. Let's punch it into the computer, tabulate the scores, and come up with the uh, G, C, and C scores. Hold on. We'll be right back. All right. The computer has spit out the results. So the official G, C, and C top 10 list of 2017, number 10, (laughs) is Destiny 2. Wow. Wow. We had a tie for 9 and 8 between Nier and The Witcher 3. (laughs) <laughs> um, number seven is Uncharted 4 oh nice no I screwed that up uh oh we Uh-oh. had a tie between nine and eight with Uncharted 4 and Gran Turismo Sport oh then we uh-huh. had a tie between seven and six with Nier and Witcher 3 that's, that's what it is <laughs> gotcha. my, my apologies number five was Everybody's Golf wow um, <laughs> Number four is yes. Until Dawn. Yeah. Uh, number three, where is number three? The Last of Us is the number three oh, game wow. of 2017. Uh, nice. Number two is uh, Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one of the greatest games of all time as well. And uh, number, number one, one Persona, Persona 5. Persona 5. Persona 5. Persona 5. All right, so get the party started. I'll go first here. Television, number 10. My number 10 favorite TV show of the year was actually a show that I did not like. It's The Defenders. (laughs) Same here. (laughs) You edit this 10 also? Number 10, yep. I watched 13 (laughs) shows this year. Um. So... We talked. We've talked about the Defenders a lot. I just think it's 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 weird. It should be the best one of all these shows, and it's the worst one. It's yeah, just, it has no soul to it at all. And, yeah, uh, the, yeah. The, the, it had a few moments. It did. Like when the when the team actually got together and like Wu Tang's playing, that was cool. <laughs> right. Like, uh, but that was it. Like maybe ten, fifteen minutes of the whole season. Yeah, was, and Sigourney uh, Weaver just terrible. Right? Yeah. Like I mean, yeah. Man, I was excited when I heard that she was yeah. in this in the villain, and uh, and she's off. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Derek, what, what's yours? Your number ten. I had a weird number ten. Um, I'm uh, now. Pick, <laughs> I picked uh, Animal Kingdom on um, on uh, what is it? TNT, I believe. Okay. Nice. <laughs> huh? That's awesome. What? Oh, you watch it? No, I'm just, I'm just. That seems outside of what I expected. Oh, anybody's list. Yeah, that's cool, dude. You know, it it is weird. It's not something I normally watch. We just got sucked into it, and and it's it's basically about um, you're following a 17 year old kid that uh, his parents, I guess, die, so he has to move in with his criminal family, and the matriarch of the criminal family is Ellen Barkin. Okay. And, I was uh, thinking it was an animal show. Animal Kingdom? Yeah, Animal Kingdom. <laughs> oh, I thought it was an animal show, too. I thought it was like <laughs> watching lions no. in Africa and stuff. Like, okay. No, That's no. That's what I thought it was. I was like, okay. <laughs> no. That's it's it's I Animal Kingdom. Planet Earth is one of my favorite shows of all time. <laughs> <laughs> no, Planet Earth is awesome. <laughs> no, it's uh, Animal Kingdom on TNT. It's, uh, if, if, it's sort of like Point Break. It's that kind of crime. Wow, okay. If you can remember Point Break, oh, yeah. um, sort of beachy crime heist and stuff. Um, it's really good. It's well, I think it's well written. Nice. So, Vanessa and I watch it. It's great. Check it out. Cool. Jeff, mm-hmm. number 10. Um, I have Arrow. Arrow. That's yeah. cool. Nice. I just started watching it, so I watched it this year. 
Yeah, you, you, this season, or you just started watching season one? Or? Uh, I'm in the season three. Okay. Have you watched all, all right. the way up to it? No, I haven't watched all the way. Okay. So I'd suggest season one. I, season I liked, one is good. Yeah, yeah I like. You that. Wa- you watched one, two, and three? Yeah, I watched one, two, and three. You did? Okay. Yeah, yep, yep. I like season one. Season so one. The end... I think three is slow as. Uh, it's three is pretty slow right now, so I it's about halfway through it. I think that's about yeah. where I stopped. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like you know, uh, Arrow. Obviously, the CW shows, they it, they've got their moments that are just fucking awful. Like I, I just can't believe that I'm watching a show that's this weird like so B grade soap opera in the middle of a superhero <laughs> right. show. But, yeah. Uh, but but that being said, I, I had a lot of fun with the first season. I just can't. It's it, I have so little time. There's so many things I really want to watch that I don't have time yeah, for that's that I, why I, I can't watch watching. any of those CW shows anymore. But but I, I like Felicity's probably my favorite. Sure. I just love I I don't know. I love that character and and the way she plays her is. I can't remember the actor's name, but yeah, she's yeah. pretty. Yeah. Hot. Yep. That, all right. Cool. Right. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Yep. Uh, the Gifted. Um, it's, uh, it's, uh, um, it's pretty good. It's, like I said, I watched a total of 13. The shows that didn't make my list were Inhumans, Iron Fist, and Castlevania. And this, those are all the shows I watched. This oh! Week. But, uh, um, <laughs> but, uh, but The Gifted, I, I was actually into it. I just kind of... Out of, I got Xenoblade, and well, actually, I started watching Mr. Robot, uh, yep. and uh, I just kind of fell off on the gifted. But I, I plan on catching up at some point. It's definitely I consider it worth watching. Um, it's uh, it's better than your. I mean, it's better than Agents of Shield and like the prime time uh, superhero shows that I've seen, mm-hmm. um, and that. There's a lot of cool uh, mutants in it, and the story's decent, the acting's decent, but, uh, you know, it's a, for a primetime X-Men show about, like, young adult mutants, it's good. Could be worse. uh, It could be worse, (laughs) yeah. yeah. Cool. Dirk, number nine? Um, Well, I had one, but I just had to call an audible because I forgot about Castlevania. (laughs) I loved Castlevania. So Castlevania's Um, number nine? Yes, right. absolutely. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I love Warren Ellis, and I thought it was funny. I don't know. I, yeah. And also, like, I I have a thing for horror anime. I don't yeah. know what it is. I'm just drawn to it. Um, so it, it doesn't good. take. Yeah, it doesn't take a lot to impress me in there. But I thought it was really good. It, I I really want a whole series out of it. So yeah. Castlevania's on my list also. The I, I thought it was really good as well. The it, it the the kind of cheesiness of Alucard, was he the main character? Yeah. It yes. was it it was almost charming. Yeah. In its absolutely way, right. Tongue in cheek. Yeah. yeah. In in the uh the villain, all the Dracula stuff was awesome. You know what I mean? Oh, the monsters yeah. and stuff were all really cool, so I'm I'm done. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I had to yeah, bump, was- uh I had to bump uh, Attack on Titan. So oh, sorry, gotcha. Attack on Titan. <laughs> I watched. Well, we'll, 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 I didn't finish it. That's the thing. I read. I I watched four episodes into the season. So okay, Jeff. Uh, uh Big no. Bang Theory. Oh, Big Bang Theory, funny. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Got some network television, yo. <laughs> I got to tell you, I I have watched surprisingly few episodes of Big Bang Theory. I don't think I've ever seen the whole one all the way through. I've like, never I've seen it. Really? Yeah, oh, I, I, I know the characters through and through. They, they have a laugh track, right? Yeah. yeah I, I can't stand it. That's why I yeah. can't watch it. Dad laugh loves track. that show. And uh, he's told me to watch it multiple times. And the moment I hear the fucking laugh track, I just can't. <laughs> right? I just immediately go, oh. <laughs> 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 all right. So uh, my number nine was uh, Fear the Walking Dead. I I feel like Fear the Walking Dead made a comeback for me this year. The uh, I'm I'm not through the whole season yet, but the uh, the first two were very ho hum and uh, and it's it's picked up. I think in this season definitely. Yeah. So it's it's yeah. become not just like oh I gotta get through the season, but I actually want to watch it each show as they're coming up and whatnot. So totally yeah the, yeah. I mean, 
after characters aren't great, but after watching them for a while, you get kind of, I mean, the, the heroin kid's so good. And, I mean, uh, it it's good. Yeah. It's my, it's my number eight. Oh, okay. All right. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. So Corey's number eight is fear. So we'll, we'll skip around. Hold on. All right. So Dirk, what's your number eight? My number eight is Atlanta. Oh. On FX. Um, I these lists are weird. I was not expecting these lists <laughs> to be like this. <laughs> um, Atlanta, besides being really funny, is uh very bizarre. It's a very you and you would not think it by looking at it from the outside. But once you start to watch it, every episode, first of all, is self-contained. Same group of characters, but. Uh, there's no linear storyline through okay. it, and it's just situations throughout, you know, whatever their experiences in the city. Sure. But it's it's very it's very well done, and it's unlike most things I've seen on TV. Cool, you know, yeah, it's, uh, I'll check yeah. It out. I've never I I have never seen one. It's actually and it's really really funny, but yeah. but it's a very dry sort of. Um, uh, Bizarre sense of humor going on. Cool. All right, Jeff. Yep. Number eight. Number eight. Uh, this is us. Oh, this is us, huh? Ah, okay. uh, yeah. That's what. I, well, a lot of people talk about that show. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's I like Sterling K. Brown. Yeah. What's up with it? Brief. Good actor. Brief what is overview. It? Um, it's network television. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what is? What's it about? Basically, it's a story of of three siblings and how their lives are going through. One's a one kid is adopted, and the other two are twins. Um, and of the twins, one's an actor and struggling with his acting career. Um, the other one's overweight and dealing with that. And then the adopted kid, he was, he's adopted because he and he's black, and so he went and found his his real father. But then you keep jumping back to their mom and dad, but in the present time, the dad is dead, and you don't know why. You have right. no idea. So yeah. it's interesting. It's, it's, it's a really good show. It's cool. a really good show. Cool. Uh, my number eight is The Walking Dead. Not Fear the Walking Dead. So <laughs> the uh, good – it's getting better again. It's mm -hmm. it, at this point. I'm I'll watch The Walking Dead for as long as it's on television. Um, it's not what it was, uh, and we talk about it over and over again. The, the The real problem is Negan. He's not as cool as he is in the books. So in in, right. in, in the books, he's he's one of the greatest characters of all time in the books, and uh, in in the TV show, he's, he is not that. So yeah, no. but but still still digging it. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, so we are down to seven. Seven. All right, Dirk, kick this one off. All right, I got, um, this might come as a shocker, but I got Stranger Things season two at seven. At seven. Seven. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> it's way down the list. I know. And, you know, I think if, if um, I don't know, like season one, is much higher and would have been much higher on this list. But, yeah, I agree. But, uh, you know, I, it's not – it. it's really an issue of it got pushed behind things that I love even more, more than, like, I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but if we were making this list last year, season one would be higher, right? Oh, I mean, absolutely. That's, that's how I feel. It'd probably be yeah. number two or number three, uh, I think. Right, so. right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Jeff? Scorpion. Scorpion. <laughs> Network television. <laughs> I haven't even That's heard like of this number show. four. <laughs> I know. No. It's great. At least you can spread it. NBC, ABC. Have, do you have an ABC show yet? No. <laughs> Two NBCs and a, and a CBS. Uh, so so this, far. This is where I slotted in uh, Castlevania. Mm. This spot was number seven. All right. Yeah. It's high up. What, what's Scorpion? Is it a <laughs> Scorpion? It's, 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 about, it's yeah. about a bunch of geniuses that work for Department of Homeland Security, and they kind of MacGyver using science to fix huge catastrophic issues. Okay. There but you go. It's really it, it's good because 
a lot of it's Wait. based it's based off a real person. The dude from Terminator Two is in it, right? Robert yeah, Patrick. Yeah, Robert Patrick. Yeah, yeah he's in it. <laughs> nice. nice. And uh, the guy that played Shipbreak from uh, American Pie is in it too. Oh, funny. Okay, interesting. All right, so yeah, so I had Castlevania. What do you got, Corey? Uh, the Walking Dead. Walking Dead, huh? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Gotcha. Is he playing Xenoblade? No, yeah. I'm texting my... He's trying to figure out if we're playing Gran Turismo. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so number six, Jeff. <laughs> SEAL Team. SEAL Team. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea, Jeff. You were um, a CBS junkie. I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I watch a lot of CBS. It's just because uh, I need our this... <laughs> well, I, I DVR a lot of it, so I catch up on when I have time. Said you didn't have time for Stranger Things, and you watched all this shit. <laughs> <Right. laughs> and I watched Stranger Things. Stranger Things, yeah. yeah. Stranger Things. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, so in the, speaking of, that's what I got in the spot, Stranger Things, season okay. two. Yep. Six. Uh, six. Yep, right? It's six, yep. Corey, what do you got? American Gods. Oh, God, nice. Nice. God, I need to go back and watch it, man. Yeah. yeah. I, I really. We get into the shows I really like now. I'm starting <laughs> yeah. at number six. And, um, it's uh, really good. I have a new show. I, I, I think it's uh, really cool. All the different gods and stuff. And all the different Jesuses were funny. You know, yeah. The, the yeah. spring chick was awesome. Um, you know, the. Plus the the dude who has the hammer. Um, well, I guess we, I don't want spoilers. Um, oh yeah, but the uh, but, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he's awesome. Um, yeah. I just uh, it's just really cool how it's uh, a show that it has all the mix of the different gods plus zombies and and leprechauns and yeah. just uh, yeah all this fantastical stuff and it's and it's well uh, it's well acted. Uh, the story it is really cool. is yeah um, I agree. absolutely uh, i like uh i like everything about it so far <laughs> so, you know for first season it was uh it's really good um i'm looking forward to season two um <laughs> good stuff i can't wait to watch it man i i surprised that i haven't watched it yet yeah, it's, it's fantastic yeah. all right dirk number six. Uh, number six i have the handmaid's tale okay yeah I tossed, I debated back and forth if it was going to be higher or not. That's one that creeped up on me. You know, I liked it enough at the beginning, but every episode got successively better. And uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's a super dark (laughs) series. Um, Yeah. Cool. I've never watched it. Nice. It's good. It's good. Cool. Um, So, number five, I've got, uh, this is where I put American Gods. Okay. Was nice. number five? Yeah. Nice. Corey, what do you got? Uh, number five, Mr. Robot. <clears throat> Robot. Um, it's uh, I'm a season behind. I think I'm on season two. I think season three is the most recent one. Um, but really awesome show. I had heard everybody. I'd heard from a couple people that it was really good, and um, it's, it's just excellent. Something. Yeah, it's usually uh, usually I try and keep my shows to like zombies or superheroes um and so it uh just took me a while to start watching this but uh but yeah really excellent uh it's just uh really cool that you know this guy and you know he's an incredible hacker obviously great also actor has, too uh, yeah the acting in in the show is really great um the you know and then he's got this whole shit going on in his head that uh takes it to a next crazy ass level and uh it is, and it's just uh and Christian really good. Slater. <laughs> Christian Slater's in it. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I love Mr. Robot a lot uh, and I it missed the boat on like I finished it last year for season 1. Yeah. And I haven't gotten into season 2. But I have heard that uh season 2 was not as good as season 1. But that yeah. season three, which is coming out right now, is supposed to be phenomenal. Really? Yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling. I'm still, I'm really, I'm liking season two, but I like season one a lot more up to the point where yeah. I'm at. But yeah, the big turn. I really like it. Know? Yeah, absolutely. Nice. It would have been on my list if I watched season one and two, so I kind of put them. 
for a hire. Yeah. I don't know if I was basing it just on season two, I, it, it would probably go below American Gods, but um, just as I watched both seasons. So I, Nate and Jeff, y'all should watch it. Yeah, I will when yeah. I can. It's not on anything it's I have right now. So really good. At least yep. just season one. Knock it out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we had some uh, technical difficulties there. Uh, we just Bad realized time. it halfway through. So we had Dirk's audio, no video. Now we got Dirk back. And uh, apologies for the poor quality of that video. It should be good now. I so, hate uh, Skype. <laughs> <all right. laughs> so, Dirk, you're up. Number five. Number five is... Um, I'm all discombobulated now. Let me run and get it. Hold on a second. What did you, you do with it in the last two minutes? That we... Where did you pull it? <laughs> Where did you take it? I know. It's like, what, what, what did Tony steal it? Is no. He I I had printed it out because I thought I might have to restart my computer. Oh, so. gotcha. Uh, All right. Um, number, five number five is Anthony Bourdain, Parts Unknown. Gotcha. Wow, okay. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, yeah. I like food and I like travel and I like – he really gets into the guts of a city that he's in. It's not just like a normal travel show. Mm. Um <clears throat> Some of those extremely, are better than some of them. Some oh of them yeah, are yeah. Okay, but some of them are really good. I, I, it's not a consistent series, right. but there are some that are like it's some of the best television out there. Some of the episodes, you know. Yeah. So, uh, it, it really makes you want to go to the, some of those places. Yeah, I in general I like his take on third world countries, right? Like it yeah. seems like when when he goes to big cities around the world. It, those ones are kind of boring to me, but the yeah. stuff that he goes and, and does in third world countries is cool, for sure. Yeah. Right. Yep. Jeff. Gotham. Gotham. Nice. How is it? I, I like, like it. A lot? it. I, I really like it. I mean, at first it was a little slow, but it's it's really picked up now that it uh, you're getting more of Bruce Wayne realizing. Um. What he has to do, he had his run in with Razagul, and and you see mm-hmm. Selena Kyle coming more and more Catwoman. You got Poison Ivy now, you know, Penguin's coming into his own, and you got the Riddler and the Penguin fighting each other. They've Spoiler killed each other a couple of times. Nice. <laughs> the uh, the uh, uh, Penguin's cool. He's that, that guy plays I, it well. He um, plays it well. I, I watched that series through the Bloon Man. Okay. Episode? That's that's yeah. when I dropped off, and uh, I, I wasn't that I disliked it, but uh, yeah, just lost it at that point. I, I like the Riddler. I like I like who they have playing Enigma. And, yeah. And no, it's and and I like Gordon. I really like who they have playing Gordon. Jim Gordon is. Agree. It's it's nice. good. And Alfred is badass. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Alfred Alfred's is, always badass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Corey, number four. Number four, Stranger Things 2. Gotcha. Stranger Things 2. All right, yeah. Dirk. Number four, I got Game of Thrones. Wow. Fucking Game of Thrones at four? <laughs> yeah. Four, huh? Wow. I know. Wow. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm considering this season isolated, not as a whole. But, yeah. Wow. I mean... Yeah, the more I think about it, I think so. I I have to consider, like, fluidity of entire product. Like, how much did I like the entire season in its – and, you know, what I didn't like. I'm trying to consider things and be fair to something instead of it just naming it because it's Game of Thrones, you know. <laughs> I, I'm I, surprised I, to see what you got above it. Well, no, I mean, I, I mean, nobody's gonna oh, agree well. with me, and <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, well, yeah. yeah, but there is a shocker at three, I think, but that's just, <laughs> I think it's because I, I like that other show a lot. Uh, but no, I again, it's not because I wasn't happy with it. I did have some moments that I didn't like. Openly. So the didn't stuff like. that you didn't like was just like uh, what the the story, like probably the sped the, up the timeline. timeline. Is that what you're? That's part of it. I think it. I think once um, we got away from the books, the material starts to. I don't know. It Unravel. gets a little different. Yeah. 
it's like um, they're trying to compress too much in to to get this going, and I'm starting to see things happening that. Um, well, no, I take that back. I I guess there are some things that I remember happening that I was not expecting. <laughs> I gotta uh, say, like, I just feel like it's it's Act Three, right? Like, they're yeah. it's it's speeding up because they're they're done with characters. Yeah, and, you know. No, I know, I know. It, so, I know, uh, and the thing, but I think, for me personally, it's just a little too heavy-handed. I mean, I think about Act Threes that I love, and this is different. And it's not. I'm not saying that it's not great, but a, 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 per, a perfect Act Three to me is Breaking Bad, Act 3. That, to me, is, you know, a, a great show. If I'm putting a show on my top three, it's got to have something close to that. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah we'll see. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, uh, Dirk, Dirk, wow. Okay, Jeff. <laughs> it's a show called Timeless. Timeless? Yeah, it's on a NBC. And it's all about, it's about time travel. And what happens if you go back and make changes? How does that affect the future? The thing about it, though, is is NBC actually canceled the show after the after the spring, after season one, yeah. and because of all the people bitching on social media, all the fans yelling about it, they actually re re signed it up. And started filming in November. Huh, that's cool. Ah, but it's a really good show. I, I, the first season was really good. That's not the tattoo lady, huh? Uh, yeah, I think so. No, not. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> She's pretty hot. But... I'm thinking about a tattoo lady with a message on her, a code on her back. No, something. that's that's something different. That's um, oh yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about now too. I forget what um, that's called. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I didn't watch it. Mm-hmm. All right. Blind spot or something, or yeah, you're right. It's something like that. Yeah. All right, my uh, number four is uh, this is where you could take these top four and shuffle them around anyway. Yeah, that's about. what I'm saying. I got uh, this is where Legion goes. Oh. Le- Legion was Legion. transformative to me. Oh yeah, Legion was so fucking good. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, can't talk enough about it. We we said it. In the past, and I'll say it again, one of my favorite television shows of all time is a 60s show called The Prisoner. Um, Patrick yeah. Guggen yeah. gets sent to this village, and uh, it's what I like about it partially is the story of it, but it's also they just get really crazy with like the 60s like zooms and, and weird camera stuff all the time and uh <laughs> yeah and I, I feel like <coughs> legion was like that like the the scenes in the ice cube and stuff like that were yeah. were cool it's my like, number yeah it's my number it's, two yeah because i yeah. just think there's there hasn't been anything like that on tv yeah, I mean, for the, yeah it's you know? so good so weird you didn't know what's real what's not i mean just yeah and it's x-men show right, and right. It's so, yeah so exactly awesome. the cinematography is out of this world yeah right? i i never expected it to be remotely as close to as good as it was Noah you know, Hawley, awesome. I mean, yeah, I mean, they should just give him a blank check because <laughs> yeah. that's like he's two for two with that and Fargo, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah. So. so good. All right, so we're down to number three. This will be yep. Dirk. You can pass the three. <laughs> Man, I, I might catch flack for this, but my number three is Ajin on. Uh, oh, well, no, that's Netflix. all right. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm obsessed with that show. I just think um, oh, it's so good. Season two, I mean, I, I I rarely binge watch shows, and I totally binge watched that. I mean, it was like back to back to back, <laughs> and season two was even better than the first season. So nice. I just thought it was like one of those perfect, like put a bow on it, no filler sort of incredible seasons. Cool. cool. So. Yeah, I, I made it like – I think four or five into season one. I should get back yeah. to that. I, I yeah. did enjoy it. Yeah, I liked it too. I kind of stopped watching it. Mm. <clears throat> Love it. All right, Jeff, number three. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Down. Down. Right. <laughs> My number three 
this is uh my shame <laughs> it's the preacher preach right uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah you're gonna have to wear that like a tattoo i'm gonna watch Say. it i just have to wait but uh until it comes back on, I can record it again because it's not right streaming it on your on arm. anything right now. <laughs> yeah, and I switched out my DVR. But yeah, Say, I waited show. too long and <laughs> it deleted. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> it's, uh, but yeah, just Preacher to me is, I mean, I got it number three here. It may be number three of all time in, mm. in my yeah. list. I mean, I, I feel like it's, it's so good. I, it's unbelievably good i just I, yeah. I can't get over it the humor in it is great those characters That's are hilarious. so good um yeah. you know the first few shows i was hung up on how it wasn't really like the book but then i just realized it, it's so fucking good that i don't care if i think it's, like it's better book or not like yeah it's yeah. just it, it it's it's great and th those actors are they nail it you know the yeah. the cassidy and angel drug scene that that <laughs> might right. be one of the greatest drug scenes of all time. Oh like that, man, that was what song was playing? So I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't remember so what song scary. was playing, but yeah, and just now that you're starting to get like that that whole like meeting between them, you know, you're you're getting history where it's like, okay, these awesome characters are coming together, almost like Game of Thrones or oh. something. You know, hey, but wait so till you watch. Out. Wait till you watch the rest of them. Yeah, it's gonna right. that's gonna move up for you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about yeah. that. Dude, I'm uh, telling you. Talk yeah. to me after. <laughs> Number three, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Yeah. This. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> this. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we're down to twos. Jeff, kick off the twos. I have Stranger Things. Stranger Things, right there. Season one Thanks, and two, because I... No, I can watch it all. So. Oh yeah. yeah, so that would make it different in my mind yeah. too. I still yeah. would put it above Game of Thrones. I I think that's I, I think this what me, seasons. I think it just depends. Like yeah, I have to take if it was game season of, four. Yeah. If it was season right. four, Game of Thrones. Yeah, stand the fuck by. Absolutely. Yeah, I just think you have to like separate them. The seasons don't always yeah. match up. You know. Yeah. Yeah, you got that in this first season of Stranger Things he's talking about, too. Yeah, I mean, that's, I that's like me with Mr. Robot. I bumped it up a notch. I still think y'all are fucking crazy. I think Game of Thrones <laughs> is the greatest television show ever made, like, by a mile. And, I, and I, even I, this one being, if you thought this one was a dip, I don't think it was. I thought it was, every episode was fucking awesome. But, uh, yeah, I just... It was, I wouldn't say it was good, but the, the top line list is subjective, because... The newest content you just watch is fresher on your mind than Game of Thrones. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I have okay. to say, look, as a show, absolutely. I'm, yeah. But I have to take that all in. If I'm isolating this season and comparing it even with other Game of Thrones seasons, I'm this not putting season? it there. No. Okay, I'm sorry, I got passionate <laughs> there, and I spit out a bunch of spoilers, and Corey called me out on it. He's right; there shouldn't be Game of Thrones spoilers. If you were in season four, you would have been pissed about what I just said. So yeah, you would have been. Really so yeah, pissed. but anyways, y'all are crazy. Um, no, you know it's almost like with Game of Thrones, there are moments in there to me that it, I can't even like say a, an episode is my favorite. It's a moment-based show, you know, like. So don't spoil it. Are we, okay, well, <laughs> you, if you start second, talking the moment, second you will. to last episode, I think is what I'm thinking of. Or yeah. Anyway, it, it, yeah. certain things. It's an event-based series for me. Yeah. So yeah, um, it's hard for me to say like it's the best because of this when it's actually just a series of of things. I, yeah, I, I, I think I can't, it's really. Yeah, it's really good, but like, I have more fun watching the preacher. Like, <laughs> that's interesting, you know? man. I, I just feel that's... like the the production value and the depth of story like just blows. Oh, away absolutely. Else. It's, it, yeah, I mean, it's produced really well, and the story is really deep. But I, I prefer watching Cassidy do drugs with angels than. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I just think y'all are nuts. If you sit me on a deserted island and say you can only take one with you, the last season of Game of Thrones or the next season of Preacher, I'm picking Game of Thrones uh, ten times out of ten. It's you're not taking lost. <laughs> What's last, that? 
last season. Wait, this just season any, or Game of Thrones? Any Thrones? season. Any season. I'm taking Game <laughs> of Thrones over anything else. Right? Wow. Know. Okay. So my turn. Uh, okay. My number two here. I think I'm the only one with this even on my list, but uh, I feel like Game of Thrones is the greatest show of all time. Uh, Breaking Bad is the second greatest show of all time. And Better, Better Call, Call Saul. Better Call Saul. Yeah. Is, it's just I know. I'm getting Bad. on it, man. Like, Better Call Saul Season 3 is like Breaking Bad Season 8. Like, that's what it is. And I, I don't understand how the ratings are lower than they were for Breaking Bad because it's it's the continuation it's of it, and it's perfect. I know. All the, in particular, Saul and Mike are fucking yeah. as awesome as they were all the way through Game of, Th- or Game of Thrones, uh, Breaking Bad. <laughs> how so, many seasons are they in? Three. Three. Yeah. Damn. Yep. Already, yeah, shit. and it's and it's the greatest shit ever. I, well, not the second yeah. greatest shit ever. Hey, right, Corey, number two. Yeah, yeah, Reacher. Reacher, gotcha. What is your number one? Let me. I gotta try and figure that out. Uh, I oh, think oh, whatever. Yeah, okay, all right, Dirk. Uh, Legion is number two. Legion. I yeah. just uh. Yeah, man. I mean, how do you even top that? How, uh, you know, yeah. How does season two even approach that? Yeah. I I trust that he can. He seems like the kind of showrunner that can. He's not afraid to gamble on crazy shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and maybe they'll have a bigger budget, so it'll be even better. I don't I know. hope so. Yeah, I hope so. But it's yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah. It is. All right, and then our number ones. I think you guys know what my number one is. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My number one is preacher. Preaching yeah. for you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I got I Legion. Just, oh, Legion. I didn't even see that. Number one, yeah. huh? Yeah. Wow. wow. My favorite show this year. I loved it. <clears throat> I can see that's the same way. So and, and I'm good. telling you, Nate, you're going to have a different opinion once you watch these episodes. The whole show Well, I've seen Legion. Oh, Preacher you're talking about. Okay. Yes. All right. I'm, I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> really? Excited, yeah. Jeff, what, what was yours? I have a Punisher. The Punisher, wow. Yeah, okay. I really oh. like that show. Dude, I binge-watched the shit out of Number it. Number one? Like, yeah. Better than Stranger Things. Better, yeah. better than wow. Game... Punisher better than Game of Thrones. <laughs> Subjective, <Yeah>. because... <laughs> this, and this was only for this year, so... So you didn't watch Preacher or Legion, then? No, I did not. Yeah. You need to watch those. Yeah, you do need to watch this. One. Okay. I can't stream Preacher. Stuff. I guess I gotta watch Punisher before I can argue with it. But I, I'm, <laughs> I know I, I am I'm, surprised for sure. I'm gonna start on Better Call Saul. I think next. Yeah. Yep. Definitely is awesome. All right. So let's punch it into the computer. Let's tabulate here. Give me. I'll be right back. All right. We're back. Fresh out of the we're computer back. here. <laughs> we got the official GCNC 2017. Television show list number ten is Mr. Robot. Nice. Made it. Number nine is Castlevania. <laughs> eight is uh, Ajin. Nice. Yep. Two uh, anime in a row. Yep. <clears throat> number seven is Better Call Saul. <laughs> number six is The Punisher. Yeah. Number five <laughs> is American Gods. Number four, Stranger Things, season two. Number three is Legion. <laughs> two is Preacher. And as Honest. it should be, <laughs> the best show Game of Thrones. 2017 is Game of Thrones. <laughs> there you go. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right, everybody. Special episode. We filmed this ahead of time. It's the last show of the year where we normally go through in. Uh, give some props out to the YouTube channels that have recently subscribed to us. In this episode, we're going to go a little bit different. Uh, we want to thank the people that have been there for us throughout this adventure so far. So um, not to, if you're not on this list, please don't be offended. Um, we're just picked out some of the people that have really been good supporters of us. Uh, first of all, on YouTube, um, the, the comment section, right? If everybody knows yep. if you do this YouTube game, you got to comment matter. The more comments you get, the more likely you are to... Uh, <coughs> to get shared and uh Try so so th- these are the people that have been there for us and we appreciate it so first of all otk magic stick 
and uh, Archmage, 09 Archmage. These guys have been there since day one on mm -hmm. our videos constantly. So uh, I really, really appreciate it, you guys. Um, also wanted to give a shout out to Foda over on uh, Twitter. Talks about us more than anybody else on Twitter. That dude shouts us <laughs> out. So definitely, definitely appreciate that. And then uh, Majestic Empire Entertainment News. They've been a lot. Captain Emo, I will say, he is... He comments a lot, yeah, it and does. Yeah. he yeah. does a lot on Twitter for us. And um, we can't. Like, he's commenting all over. When I go oh, to people's man. YouTube channels, I see him in the comments more often than not. I think that's <laughs> all he does. Um, B2 The Bone, he was on the interview with us a long, appreciate it feels it. like a long time ago. Yeah, that was awesome. It. It was uh, Razor Boom was. has a huge infatuation with Corey's PlayStation hat. <laughs> yes. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> and Richard's reality. Yeah. Uh, and then we also have uh, Poke Fan World. Poke. 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 Poke yeah, Fan. Yeah. Right. RAB2784. Yeah. Right. Uh, Chrono Side, who's been getting a lot of action. And he was the game. winner of the $20 PlayStation card. Yep. Ah, yes. And then the Adventures of the Golden Sword. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. Right so there. appreciate Absolutely. everybody. We'll we'll share their stuff in the description of this video. Uh, if you're listening to the audio version, jump on over to YouTube. Uh, all all those you here on YouTube, go into the description. S subscribe to these people as well. All, all yes. these people been there yes. for us all year. Get long. on it. Um, also, our our Facebook group. If you, if you don't subscribe to our Facebook group and you're on Facebook, you're missing out. Uh, just search Games, Comics, and Culture. <laughs> uh, Jeff's our admin, so he'll let you in there. The uh, But just wanted to give some uh, thanks to all the people that are on there uh, throughout the year. Uh, Megacy. Oh, also, Megacy deserves thanks on his own just for being such an active part of what we've been doing since day one. Um, sure. You know, And got me early tickets into Ragnarok this year, so definitely uh, appreciate Megacy. Um, Nate, William, Bill, Kevin, Mark and Kent, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and Charles, why does it say Adams times two? We got so, two uh, Adams. You got the lumberjack and you lumberjack got the board game. Adam. Oh <laughs> yes, <Yeah. a> fanatic. <laughs> and Francisco. Yep. Amy. Yep. Jeremy. Dirk. Joseph. Joe and Dustin. Yeah, appreciate everybody there in the Facebook group. Everybody yeah, else, yeah. you need to get in there. All right. I, I post a lot. You got to keep up with me. <laughs> <laughs> so moving into next year, we're going to get back to the comic book book club. Uh, we're going to be going over four kids walk into a bank. So read up on that before uh, next next episode. Um, also wanted to talk a little bit about Patreon. We try not to beg people for money all the time, but just want to put out there that we give the show to everybody for free every week. It's not free for us, right? And we're we definitely uh, put this together with some uh, duct tape and uh, staple gun, and uh, definitely if we could get some more support, <laughs> we can make the show better, right? We're it, it, at this point, we're not looking to put money into our own pockets. We're looking to make this whole deal uh, a smoother, uh, more uh, polished operation so any help that anybody could throw us consider Absolutely. giving us a dollar a month that's a, that's what it starts at it, it would greatly help us out so just wanted to throw that out there patreon.com slash gcandc and a dollar is awesome but for ten dollars you can get dirt to get you a picture of a fat horse so <laughs> yes sweet in the pot it's like this one nice <laughs> <laughs> and as always check out our website for links for all our social media fun at uh, gamescomicsandculture.wordpress.com and stay tuned for the new year we're going to be doing another leaderboard kind of competition for golf with Rory this year instead <laughs> of everybody's golf so, yeah if anybody has Rory wants to hop in yeah. <laughs> yep. I will be at the bottom of that list also we're on twitter at gcandc and, of course, thank you, incredible thank you to Fred Thomas for that opening music, our, totally our theme now, yep, um, yep. and C. Ryder for our logo. Yeah, absolutely uh, appreciate it. Yes. All right. Uh, it's been a great year, guys. It has. Let's, Hell, let's, yeah. Let's do it again next year. 2018 is going to freaking rock. Rock. <laughs> rock out with her. Socks off. So that's it, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Thank um, you. That's been our top tens. 
over these last two episodes. We we appreciate it. We're going to do it all over again next year. Start the yeah. 18 oh. off fresh. Got some good yeah. games coming out. I'm excited. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Later. 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 Later.